there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs the Bomb, but built for theme park news and welcome to a close but not forgotten video. Now this series is all about looking at past attractions and looking at the history and diving deep into the, the fabric of the old attractions that paved the way for the attractions that we know and love today. Today's Close But Not Forgotten video comes from Thorpe Park Resort because we're looking at the Octopus Garden, which is a ch classic collection of children's attractions uh, that was operating even when the park first opened. And of course, the 1993 season came around, they brought in uh, Octopus Garden, and of course, it paved the way in 2010 for an attraction, a water ride that we know and love today that opened back in 2011. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Make sure you do all the fantastic stuff um, that we that you guys do it every every day for the channel. You guys do it every day for the channel, and you guys just mean the world to me. So make sure you continue doing that good stuff. Make sure you keep liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking that notification bell once again. Make sure you keep sending in your merchandise um, to the social media links, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter. It's all in the description. So if you want to follow me on that, I'd be right happy to accept your requests. And um, yeah, if you want to send me any theme park news that you found out that I've never got to first, then send it me on the usual links. Uh, if you've got any um, comments or you've got any questions or if you've got any video suggestions that I can save uh, for a future date, then make sure you get it in the comments section down below the video or message me privately on those Instagram, Snapchat or Twitter links. Uh, my DMs on all of those are completely open. They're completely free so you guys can message away whatever you want. And uh, for now, guys, let's get into talk about the history of the Octopus Garden at Thorpe Park Resort. For almost as long as the park has been open, this area has housed a mixture of fun rides to entertain the smaller children visiting the park. But in 1992, the area was redesigned and themed to become Octopus Garden. And this was so the new rides could be fit into the relatively new Fancy Reef Park area. So the full effect of the Octopus Garden theme, you know, it came in in 1992, but the full effect, in my opinion, was felt in 1993 because it felt more complete, in my opinion. Because, you know, even though it was created in 1992, I said 1993 earlier because it felt more complete in that year. So I kind of feel like it was 1993, but technically it was created in 1992. Uh, so some of the rides and attractions that were in this area before Octopus Gardens theme came in were Dolphin Ride, Ladybugs, a small animal and vehicle themed carousel, Snake Slide, which is a Helter Skelter attraction, High Slide, a bouncing gassel, Dizzy Den, which is an inside soft play area that later became Thorpe Megastore, and in the Octopus Garden era, so, you know, in 1992, uh, the rides were Slippery Serpent, Ollie Octopus, Swinging Seashells, Up Periscope, Happy Halibuts, Fancy Fish, Pirates Lagoon, Galleon Race and Rocky Express before it moved into Canada Creek in the mid-1990s, so only a couple of years after the whole Octopus Garden theme came in. And also Thought Park Bashing Balls, which briefly moved to Octopus Garden after Slippery Serpent was removed. And that ride was removed during the 2010 season, but soon after the removal of Slippery Serpent, it was announced the whole of Octopus Gardens were closed mid-season for construction to begin on the brand new family water ride for 2011. This ride would later be known as Storm Surge, and of course that was relocated from Cypress Gardens. That was being transformed into Legoland, Florida. They didn't want to use that ride as part of the plan. Plans. They brought it into Thorpe Park as Storm Surge and Cypress Gardens became the new Merlin Park at the time, Lega Land, Florida. Now, Thorpe Park said on their website in 2010, as of Monday the 6th of September 2010, the Octopus Garden area of Thorpe Park has been closed for its removal in preparation for a proposed new ride. The 64-foot spinning raft ride will add an additional element of fun for thrill seekers and families alike as they spin out of control down this insane sky-high water ride. We are sorry for any inconvenience or disappointment this may cause, but we are constantly researching and looking to develop our product offering, and these closures ensure that we are continuing to develop the park's overall objective to establish its brand positioning within the very competitive industry as the nation's thrill capital. So there we go, that's looking at the history of the Octopus Garden, as well as talking a little bit about its replacement, Storm Surge. Now, I saw some old pictures on a website called Memories of Thought Park, so I'd massively go and give them uh, a watch on their website. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the, the website link is, but if you type in on Google Memories of Thought Park, it'll come up somewhere. 
uh, but I'd highly recommend them and you know they put up some fantastic pictures and you know I think that um, you know Ots Plus Garden definitely looked like a fun kids area I think if I was a kid it, like if I was in the area of a kid and I got to experience Thought Park back in like the 04 05 days I think that would have been a fantastic kids area for me personally because you know looking at the pitch of this kids area I think that um, the whole aspect of it and the whole sort of fan it gave you a bit of a fancy aspect even though it was octopus garden it was like a sea theme it gave you a bit of fancy aspect hence the fancy reef kind of uh, magic that it delivered you know in that aspect and even when the the fantasy reef sort of name of that area went away it sort of became it the name sort of stayed metaphorically in a way because it still felt like a fancy reef kids area and you know obviously parks need to develop and things like that and you know thought part at the time we're going down the nation's real capital route and you know, me personally, I don't want to do a, I don't want to do, you know, too much on it in terms of discussing this. I want to do it in a separate video, but, you know, I, I, I want Thought Park to go down the nation's real capital route again. And you know, like I said, I'll probably do a separate video on that and share my thoughts as to how they could do that. Um, but you know, at the time they were the nation's real capital, they were going down more of a thrill route, and. You know, kids' rides like the Octopus Gardens did feel, at the time uh, of its closure, a little bit temporary. So, you know, taking them out, putting this family water, uh, this family thrill water ride in, raft ride in, I think, I think felt right at the time. It absolutely felt right at the time. Um, but if you look at it, Storm Surge, it's a good ride from what I hear. I, I didn't get the chance to experience it in both my visits to Thorpe Park back in 2015 or 2017, but. Uh, Storm Surge does have its critics to say maybe it doesn't fit in Thought Park anymore. Um, then you look at Walking Dead the Right, it's an IP. X may not be coming back, or Walking Dead's had its time. Dan Brown's Ghost Train, it always has critics. Absolutely always has critics. If you take out all three of them attractions, I mean, you've got a fantastic coaster side, don't you? Uh, but in all seriousness, yes. I think that Storm Surge does have its critics from its reviews, but overall, from the looks of it, it looks like a good ride. So, you know, it's not like we're replacing Octopus Gardens with a really trash ride. You know, at least it was something kind of decent from the reviews. And, you know, Storm Surge is a lot of fun, so, from what I hear. So, um, you know, I think it wasn't removed for anything. Uh, for nothing, sorry. I think it was removed for something. Um, and Storm Surge did feel right at the time. Uh, so there we go. So that is it. Rest in peace, Octopus Garden. And, um, yeah, we're going to be doing more of these Close But Not Forgotten videos. i got a couple of suggestions of, like, Confrontation at Universal Studios Orlando, Dragon Challenge at Islands of Adventure. If you've got any more Close But Not Forgotten video suggestions, then send them in below. You can check out the Close But Not Forgotten playlist at the end of the video. We've done videos on Crinkly Bottom of Cricket St. Thomas, which is an old theme park. Uh, American Adventure. Everyone knows American Adventure. If you don't, then I really recommend suggesting that video. Um, we've done other rides, Wicked Witch's Horn, that was a recent one, so uh, check that one out in the playlist as well. And for now guys, my name is Coach Chow, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And, before you guys go, before you turn off this video, whoa, 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 before you turn off the video, uh, in the description down below, I have linked my second channel. Now, my second channel is all about the footy so if you're a 40 fan as well then i would recommend going and checking out that channel and please go and give it some support you know i'd love to expand on that channel so um you know please go and give that channel some support go and the link's in the description make sure you go and subscribe to it uh we're getting close to 200 subscribers and that channel's only been up for a month or two so uh you know that's pretty all right and uh for now guys make sure you like comment subscribe and for now guys my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast life. I'll be uploading to both channels equally. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.